Bangalore Central is a constituency which is uh, basically uh, educated and a uh, urban voters and a uh, youth oriented constituency and it's a very high profile constituency because it covers MG Road, Brigade Road, you know, Commercial Street, Residency Road, it covers all the top Indranagar, ITPL, it covers ITPL which, uh, which actually brought fame to Bangalore. If you understand, the Bangalore today is an international, it's, a, it's one of the biggest and the best cities in the world. It's come from ITPL, okay? So Bangalore Central is a very important constituency as far as Bangalore is concerned. So personally I feel, I mean, I'm moved by three things. One is youth, because I'm a youth. Second, I'm moved by women. And the third, I'm moved by senior citizens. And I would do anything to ensure that these three uh, you know, zonas of people are all the issues. I'm a youth, I understand their problems and I understand their, pro their necessities and I understand their rights and I think they need to give, be given good rights and uh, since I represent Bangalore Central whether I win or lose that doesn't matter but I will always stand by the youths and I will ensure that they get their rights. Our nation when it comes to nation, according to me, terrorism is a very, 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 very important thing. Globe, where, where we need to address terrorism. I'm ashamed of our country. It took three days for us to just, you know, come back to normalcy with just a five terrorists attack. That is the preparedness of a country which is so-called going to a superpower status. This is amazingly crazy. You can't have security coming down 10 hours later. It's not true. It's not done. I'm happy that some of our politician friends, of course, now I have become a politician, they've taken on us and got down. But bureaucracy have not got down. Bureaucracy also is answerable. And they, they've not, you, you know, you've not heard of any bureaucracy guys who reside because of this. Personally, I feel terrorism is a very important thing. And, uh, and personally, we need to have, we need to be self, self, uh, uh, you know, self-powered or self-defense nation. First is that, because that's there on all agendas. We need to be safe country. The next important thing, as far as a nation is concerned, we need to have the best infrastructure. We have nothing. You can you imagine what is the road accidents in this country? It's crazy. No place in this world has this many road accidents. Why, you know? Because we don't have just highways, simple highways which South Africa has. Just simple highways we don't have. You know, it's crazy. You know, you drive down to Mysore, you don't know whether you're alive. You drive down to Madras, you don't know whether you're alive. I mean, you need to give at least this basic necessity to citizens in, in, in this country. I mean, we are a rich nation, we are not a poor nation. So. Personally, I feel that there are a lot of things which our country needs to do and education, I don't understand. I mean, Kerala is, I'm very happy about Kerala. It's 100% literate. When Kerala can do it, why can't the other states do it across the country? It's, it's, it's so easy. It's damn easy, but I don't know. Education requires so much of, so much of importance. We should be the 100% literate country. The next is health. I personally feel senior citizens should be given 100% pension. They need to get pension. We are growing to become a nuclear family nation. We are, especially urban India is going on nuclear family nation. And our fathers, our mothers, okay, we are well off, fine. There are a lot of people who are all getting no support from youngsters. Government needs to come with social security system in this country. It's high time. And we need to have social security. And uh, that's where I, these are certain issues which are definitely in my mind. And most important thing which I am very concerned is accountability by politicians. You can't get elected as an MP and go and do an attendance of 10%, 8%. You have got elected to be an MP to go and attend parliament. Yeah? That's your basic duty. Just the basic duty. Don't get first class, don't get rank. At least pass in it, yeah. At least get 60%, 70%, 50%. So, at least 50% attendance, 10% is ridiculous. 
So these are some issues which I feel, being an MP, you can't stand in one location and then vanish from there. Why did you cheat people? Yeah? You need to be there, stand there, you need to be accessible. Another issue is accessibility. Tell me which politician is accessible. Please change. Please change. Don't vote the same old political way. Don't sit on the fence and complain. Don't. When somebody has taken such a difficult decision of jumping into politics, come and change and be with him. Firstly, that's the first message. Second message, bring youths into the parliament. Our parliament has got 70 years old plus, it is more than 70%, 80%. And our country is 70% youthful. What is this? This is a paradox. Right? You know why? Why we are on this problem? I don't blame politicians. I blame you, I blame me. I blame the voters. We did not change. We need to change. If we had changed, this problem shouldn't have happened. I request my friends, not only vote me, because I'm educated, I'm young, I'm dynamic, I want to ensure that I work for the people. That's very clear. But I have another message. I want you all to come into active politics. It's very difficult. I am inviting all the voters to come into active politics. It's a great place to change. So what I'm doing is, see, I've understood one thing in the last one month or one and a half months. Youth can only encourage youth to come into politics. I've seen this. You know, I've asked so many friends to come into politics. It took a lot of time to convince them to bring them to politics. Okay, so you only youth can convince them to bring into politics. So I am doing a lot of activities for two things. One is to talk to the youths, convey the message. Another thing is making youths participate along with me in public administration and in social service. So these two things I am doing by involving young achievers, film stars, you know all these young achievers, post stars, all these people to come in and understand what is public service okay so these are things which i'm doing and i hope i hope bangalore central is wise to elect the right person elect the young guy elect the educated guy and elect a guy give a chance to somebody who is different see 50 years you've given a chance to one party 10 years you've given a chance to one party give 200 days to me if I don't make a difference, a little bit of difference than others, I will resign. I don't want to be there. I am accountable and I want to be accountable. I am very clear. First of all, as an MP, uh, I think uh, I will have a lot of responsibility for the funds allocated from the government of India for the projects which are meant for Bangalore. And personally I feel not only the funds should be completely deployed, but there should be no delay in execution of those projects. If you just see there's huge amount of delay in execution of those projects and the funds are lying without being used, I think there should be a monitoring system to ensure what is happening to those funds, what is happening to those projects, why those funds are not being utilized. There should be accountability by the MP. There should be something. Then there should be a public and a private and a public kind of a interaction to understand. You can't just, I mean, I don't know whether you know, I mean, I, I've been touched. Some of the politicians just blame, saying, you know, why we need IT? We don't, we, we don't need IT. We don't need... Well, we are a city which is internationally acclaimed and come because of IT. We are such a great city. We are internationally acclaimed. I think we need to have accountability. We need to have ensure that those funds are monitored. And there's a monitoring agency. We need to have a, maybe a private and a public kind of a thing. Something has to be brought in, which I have not yet put my mind to. It will be a big issue.